Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. And also, I hope you had a wonderful and safe Halloween. Today, I'm going to make another video later, but I wanted to talk to you. And I wanted to talk to you because we're going to the polls in some states and voting on this topic in a few days. So, the topic I want to talk to you about today is very contentious, and that topic is abortion. I'll tell you a story first. When I was very young, only 15, I found out that I was pregnant. And I knew right when I found out that I was going to keep my baby. And I did. But there were people in my life who tried to talk me into having an abortion. One of those people was my birth mother. My birth mother had me, but then she didn't raise me. She dropped me off with her mother, basically. And uh, she also didn't want me to get to know my father or my father's parents because then they may take me away from her, which is weird, but that's what happened. After she had me at 16 and dropped me off with her mother, she had three abortions, right? So, you know, that makes you wonder how I'm going to feel about it. I felt like a lot of the times when she would say things to me that uh, she made me feel like, you know, she wishes I would have been in abortion as well. So that did shape my views as I, when I was younger about it. And I did not have an abortion at 15. I had my son. Today, he is a 28-year-old man, and he is very successful. I love him very much, and I'm very glad that I chose not to have an abortion. Me as a person, I would not choose that for myself. I, not unless my life was in danger. And I've talked to people and I, you know, I've said even if I were raped, I don't think I would. Okay? But I can't make that decision for any other woman. These are healthcare decisions. And I think people really lose sight of that. I, uh, birth control is also, it's health care. I would not stop bleeding, right? So they used a birth control, Depo Provera, off-label, and would give me a shot every two months until my bleeding was controlled. That was a health care decision, you know? So what if politicians religious organizations decided at that time, you know, to be attacking birth control. You know, I may not be here today. They may have left me to bleed out, I guess. So that's what I don't understand. You know, uh, why, is, why are we allowing politicians and a religion into my doctor's office? You don't know what religion I am. You're a stranger to me. Why do you want to make my health care decisions? And furthermore, honestly, why do you want to make my moral decisions for me? You don't know my religion. You know, there are very bad people and very immoral people of both genders in all religions, in all of politics, all over the place. Why do you want to dictate my morality to me? I already know I'm a good person. I already know why I'm going to choose not to have an abortion unless my life is in danger. So why is a, a strange man that I don't know wanting to make decisions for me? I don't like it. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. It makes me feel very violated. And that's why I wanted to make the video today. That's my point of view. And as a woman who would not choose abortion, I feel like my voice also should be heard. I have all sons, but I don't want any granddaughters for their lives to be in danger. Like, for them to be made to carry a baby. Let's say they had... Let's say I have a granddaughter. Let's say she gets pregnant. 
let's say that she wants this baby so much, and I want this great grandbaby so much, but the baby passes in the womb, unfortunately. This is happening right now where women are being made to carry those babies to term, putting their lives in risk, putting them at risk of sepsis and so many other things. It's not right. That's not right morally. Well, you know, that's all I think I have to say about it. Please, please think of the women that wanted these babies that have to make this really hard decision just to save their own lives so that they can take care of the children that they have already. You know, think about them if you're going to make this an emotional decision rather than leave the decision up to the woman herself and her doctor.